Hi there YouTube friends, welcome back to Auntie A's Kitchen and this week we're going to be making a comforting classic beef stew with some delicious horseradish dumplings. Tender beef cooked with vegetables and potatoes, I like to serve with dumplings to soak up all of the delicious sauce but these are an optional extra. And the best part, it not only cooks itself in the oven but you only need to use one pot which also means there's less washing up. So let's get cooking. I'm going to be using a Dutch oven as it's versatile and perfect for stews and casseroles but if you don't have one just use another oven proof dish and if you're looking for a Christmas idea then a Dutch oven is a really good investment. Start by placing some oil into your pan, you're going to want to cook your meat in batches as you don't want to overfill your pan. I had forgotten to press record but off camera I seasoned the meat with some salt and pepper and also lightly coat it with some flour as you'll see in the video and this is going to help to thicken our stew later. When you place your second or third batch of meat into your pan, you might want to add a little bit more oil as you see me doing in the video. You only want to sear the meat at this stage, so on a medium to high heat, just brown off all of the sides, then take off the heat and place in a bowl. We're going to finish cooking the meat in our stew once we've made it, which is our next stage of prep. Another advantage of using a one pot recipe is that you can build upon each flavour in your pan. So lower down the heat, then add your chopped up onion, carrots and celery. This recipe is really flexible and you can use any number of different vegetables in your stew. Leeks, swede, turnips also work really well, but whatever you choose, just make sure to cut it into thicker slices as it's going to be cooking in your stew for a couple of hours. Don't forget to season your vegetables with salt and pepper, then stir occasionally until your onions start to soften. And if you're new here today, may I say welcome. My name is Amanda. I'm just a home cook who loves cooking and sharing recipes so that you can then enjoy them with your family and friends. Thanks for watching today. And if you have not already, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell so that you'll be notified when I post the next simple and delicious recipe. As soon as your onions start to pick up some color, you can then add a few cloves of roughly cut up garlic and let this cook for a couple of minutes, stirring occasionally. Next, add some tomato paste into your pan. If you don't have any, you could also use a little bit of tomato sauce or puree. Mix this all in well so that your vegetables are well coated, then cook this off to caramelize the sugars. And this is not only going to add some flavor, but it's also going to help thicken up your sauce. To deglaze the pan and add another layer of flavor, I'm gonna add some red wine. You could also use some stout or some dark ale. These are also popular for us to use in the UK. And don't worry because the alcohol will burn off as you cook it. Once you've given everything a good mix, you can then add your beef back into the pan and your spices. You could use any combination of spices you would like. In today's stew, I'm going to use some thyme, oregano and parsley. Give everything a good mix, then let this cook for a couple of minutes before adding a generous splash of Worcestershire sauce. Add your beef stock into your pan. You want to make sure everything is just about covered. Then add two bay leaves into your stew and bring it to a boil. As soon as your stew comes to a boil, you're going to place the lid on and then put this into your oven at 170 C and we're going to let that cook for about an hour. The wonderful thing about cooking a stew is you can be really flexible with the time as the longer you leave your stew in the oven, the more tender your beef will be. So while our stew is cooking, let me show you my go to simple dumpling recipe that you can make without using suet. In a large bowl, mix together your dry ingredients, then add your butter, and using your fingertips, mix until everything's well combined. You can season your dumplings in so many different ways, depending on the stew. But for today, we're going to add just a little bit of cheese and chives, with the main flavor coming from the horseradish, which is going to complement our beef really well. And as always, I'll leave a list of all the ingredients and the measurements used in today's recipe in the description below this video. Finally, add your milk. I like to add this in stages, mixing in between. You want to add just enough milk until your dumplings start to come together. It will end up as quite a sticky dough. Then I recommend transferring them into a bowl as it's easier to store in the fridge until we're ready to use them. The wonderful thing about dumplings is they only take 30 minutes to cook, so we can then put them into the stew in the last stage of cooking. The stew we're cooking today is enough for four people and because we're serving with dumplings you only need to cut up and add a couple of potatoes. And a quick tip, when you cut up your potatoes, don't cut them too small as you want them to keep their form in the stew. Once your stew has been cooking for about an hour, you can then add your peeled and cut up potatoes. Give everything a good stir. You might at this stage need to add a little bit more water as you can see me doing in the video as you want to make sure that everything is just about covered. At this stage, we're about halfway through the cook, so take an opportunity to have a taste of your stew and then you can add any extra seasoning you feel it may need. Give it a stir and then place it back in the oven for about another 30 minutes. It's now time to place your dumplings into your stew. So using two spoons, drop your dumplings, leaving a little bit of space in between each one as they will expand as they cook. 
If you like a soft dumpling, then let it steam and cook with the lid on. But if you are like me and like it crispy on top and soft and fluffy in the middle, as you can see in the video, then cook with the lid off at 180C until golden brown. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you how soft and fluffy these dumplings are inside. So here we have a classic beef stew served with some vegetables and horseradish dumplings. Tender, fall apart beef packed with flavour and some fluffy and soft but crispy on the outside dumplings. A perfect dish to serve with these colder and darker nights. It's simple to make, delicious to eat and I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as I do. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week in the lead up to Christmas and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. God bless.